y'all so i'm gonna be showing y'all how i did this look on myself it took me around five hours this is the half tribal braids and half sewing quick and easy cute style for the summer okay so first i started off by going around and combing out my hair and spraying this leave-in conditioner that i absolutely love I'll put the link to that in my description down below. I use this company whole little shampoo and conditioner set. Absolutely love it. It leaves my hair moisturized. I'm currently about to go to the gym. Do a quick little workout. Then we gonna come back and finish this. And this is the gym fit. This bra is from Money Over Fame. Um, yeah, let me tell y'all. This bra, I wear these bras from this company for the gym, for a regular bra, for everything. Like this is like like it's a sports bra but it's technically not a sports bra it's a everything bra because like it's just good for just everything like this is like one of the best bras in my wardrobe make sure y'all go shop they got other fire stuff on their website y'all can use my phone to get 15 percent off i'm gonna right here um, and i'm gonna put everything in the description it's a black owned business. Mm. Yeah, make sure y'all go get the link in my description. And I'll see y'all. I just decided to do my workout in here. There were so many people in the regular gym. And it's wasting here so I can get something done. I thought maybe to explain all these exercises, I do everything in four sets. I do these 15 times per set. I do these 30 seconds per set. And I do these 15 per leg per set. I actually have a fitness page I'm about to start being consistent on. Make sure I go check that out in the description. The squats, I do them 15 per set. Now I do these 20%. And for the crunches, I do them 30%. Okay, so I'm gonna section my hair in half, ear to ear. And I start off by first parting down the middle first. Let me tell y'all, when I do my own hair, the parts do not be the best, but it be what it be, I don't even be caring. Now I'm just showing y'all everything that I'm gonna be using. I ended up using some old bundles that I had bought a couple months ago when I had this style when my stylist did it. She ate. And I spent a lot of money on the bundles, so one thing about me, I'm going to reuse some bundles. So when I do my braid down, I'm going to do two braids going down the sides. I'm going to show y'all. That way, I can have something for my tracks to like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but y'all go see it. <laughs> Right here, I'm just showing, when I do the braid down, you grab the next braid up into the current braid that you're braiding, and then you continue to braid it. You wanna start grabbing the other braid when like close to when you just started your braid or like close to like the middle. And the rest of the braids, I just um, braid them straight down. And I'm just showing y'all again how I grabbed it and put it in the current braid.
And this is how the bird don't look after I'm showing y'all how all the birds were going. I'm just showing y'all up close how I put the thread through the needle and then I tie it. And I usually double knot it also. I'm sewing that one piece of braid into all my braids. Make sure y'all go purchase this oil, it's homemade. I bought this from one of my clients. I didn't do like a direct tutorial on how to get that first track started or even how to sew a track properly. But if y'all would like me to, let me know in the comments and I will gladly do another tutorial on how to properly sew. So once I'm done sewing the back, I get a piece and I sew it backwards, as you can see. And when I'm done sewing it, what I do is that I flip it so that you cannot see the track so that it looks natural. I can do another clear video of that too, y'all like me too. Now you're about to start in the front. To make it everything easier when I'm parting, I line everything up with my eyebrows as y'all can see. But so right here, I'm just pre-parting everything. As you can see, making sure everything is even and straight. First spray is just going straight to the back. After the first braids, I did a row of knowledge braids, triangle parts. The next braids are going to be the little crisscross braids. I'm doing the same thing on each side. And then the braids after that are just braids going straight to the back. And then the row above that is the triangle and all those braids. Now the knotless braids in the front are what makes it called a flip over style. The knotless braids makes it able for you to flip them over and do a side part to a middle part to the other side part. It's really cute. With the braids in the middle, I just did it in like a little triangle. Well, in like a little V-shape, y'all see.
Don't forget to make sure to check the description. This is the finished product. Y'all see how I did the birds in the middle? At the ends, I just braided them and then put a curler around at the end and then dip them. I like the way how the curls look. Right now I'm cutting it, making everything even. I ain't leave out that much edges. I don't be liking all of them edges. And we're done. Let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments below.